the young adult novel contemporary uh, pushing the limits which came out in july and dare you to and uh, which just came out in may um and so um, i'm going to pass this over i'm going to have um, a may and julie introduce themselves as well and then i'm going to ask um each we're going to ask each other a couple questions i'll probably ask a couple at first um, but we really, 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 really love hearing from you guys. That's actually when it's the most fun. Um, you guys can ask so many more original and fun questions um, that we can come up with. Um, so please keep that in mind. Um, and I'm going to check with my people in the back. Am, am I wrong that are we doing the bags, skip bags later for, yeah. Okay, so um, after we kind of get ourselves warmed up, um, when we do open it to questions, keep in mind that we will be giving away gifts. Okay, so two people who ask questions, yes. Hi, sorry. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, I'm Julie Kagawa. I am the young adult author of the uh, Iron Face series and the Blood of Eden series and the Call of the Forgotten series and a brand new series that I cannot <laughs> talk about yet and I really hope to soon, um, but that one has been picked up by Universal Studios for a movie. Um, so I really hope to announce it soon, but I'm really happy to be here. Hi guys, I'm Amy, or Amy Carter, and I wrote the series called The Goddess Test Series, uh, which is in, includes The Goddess Test, Goddess Interrupted, Goddess Legacy, Goddess Inheritance, and The Goddess Hunt. And I have the upcoming Black Coat Rebellion series coming out in November, and the first book of which, uh, Pawn, will be out November 26th. Okay, so the first question that we have for each other is, when did you know you wanted to be a writer? Um, I didn't know immediately. The plan was not always to be a writer. You know how most, you know, you ask an author, when did you want to be a writer? And they're like, oh, when, you know, before I was born. Yeah, I was in the womb, you know, making up <laughs> stories. That, that wasn't me. Um, I, the, the original plan for me was not to be a writer. I actually wanted to be a veterinarian for the longest time. Um, until I got to uh, high school and I realized all the math that you needed to know um, to become a veterinarian and that plan kind of fell apart very quickly. So it was around 16, 17 that I decided I, well, I like writing and I like reading so I might as well give this author thing a try. Um, I had this crazy idea that I was going to write and publish a book before I went to college and then I would be set, I would be a millionaire. That, that didn't happen, but um, that was about the time that I, you know, really started wanting to be a writer. I began to write fan fiction at age 11, and that's when I realized that I really enjoyed writing. And when I realized I could possibly make a living at it, that was about 15. Um, I started writing my own original stuff, and I'm not really sure what pushed me into writing. It was just something that... Actually, I do know. I started out by reading fan fiction, a lot of fan fiction, like <laughs> all kinds of fan fiction. Um, and there were stories that I wanted to read that hadn't been written, or at least I couldn't find them. So I decided, well, okay, I'll just write them myself. And that's really kind of what got me into writing. It actually took me a really long time to know that I wanted to be a writer. Uh, a lot of times you'll, you will hear people say that they always enjoyed writing, that they knew that they that this was something that they wanted to do. Um, I was actually in my 30s when I discovered I wanted to be a writer. And one of the best pieces of advice I'd ever gotten from um, someone when I was 17 years old, not everyone was saying, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? And I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. Um, I remember somebody who was very close to me had said to me, honey, I don't know what I want to do when I grow up and I'm 40. <laughs> and, and that was the best piece of advice because, you know, when I did finally start writing um, in my early 30s, I was like, it hit me, like, wow, this is what I was born to do. Um, so it took me a long time. Um, but yeah, I, I did it. I wrote three stories and they were all awful and they will never see the light of day. And then I wrote Pushing the Limits, and, and here I am. Okay, so I'm gonna ask the next question. Um, the next question is, why do you write YA books? Uh, why I write YA books kind of turned into an accident. Uh, YA didn't really exist when I was a teenager, or at least reading teenager books. Um, I, I mean, we had The Outsiders and a whole bunch of other books, but there was no real YA genre. They were all classified under children's books. 
Um, and when I started to write, I happened to be 15 or 16, or write my own original stuff, I happened to be 15 or 16, so I wrote about 15 or 16 year olds. And it kind of stuck. So I, there's just a whole lot going on at that age. The possibilities are endless. I think with adults, generally, generally, um, they tend to be at least on a life path by the time they hit like 30. So I didn't really find that too, you know, I, I liked the possibilities and the YA genre and that's really what attracted me to it. Well, when I started writing, um, I, like um, I said, um, there wasn't very many teen books. Um, so I was a teenager who was writing adult books. That's kind of funny now, because now I'm an adult who writes teenager <laughs> books. Um, but I started out writing adult fantasy, because I love fantasy, and that's what I always read. But even in those books, my protagonists and my heroes were all very young. They were all teenagers, um, even, in, even back then. And the first book that I wrote was an adult fantasy, and it got me my agent, and uh, my agent tried to sell that book for a year, and it never sold. So about a year later, she said, you need to write something else. And I said, well, well I have this idea. Um, I don't know, if it, you know, what do you think? I, it's about this girl who goes into fairyland, you know, to find, try to find her brother who was kidnapped by the fairies. What do you think of that idea? And she's like, yeah, you need to write that book. I can sell that book. Um, but like um, Ami said, I really love that er that uh, that uh, age group. It's There's so many possibilities. It's an age of firsts. It's your first kiss. It's your first love, <laughs> your first job. Um, you're kind of balanced on the edge of so many things. And you're no longer, you know, they're no longer a kid, but they're not really an adult either and they're still trying to figure out where they belong. And that's what I love to write about. So that's why I write, uh, write for YA. Um, 